Hundreds filed into the Eatonton Street United Methodist Church in Raleigh, North Carolina to pay their last respects to Elizabeth Edwards, the wife of former presidential candidate John Edwards. The 61-year-old died earlier this week after a six-year battle with cancer. I, I tell you, I think she was just an inspiration to everyone who knew of her, even if she didn't personally touch you. And that's how I feel about her and why I wanted to come pay my respects today. Edward's estranged husband did not speak at the service, but he did accompany their three surviving children to the church, and he sat with them throughout the service. Also in attendance, his 2004 running mate, Senator John Kerry of Massachusetts. The Edward's oldest daughter, Kate, delivered a eulogy and spoke about her mother's grace, strength, and dignity. She was feisty and she was witty. But she always had the ability to make fun of herself and laugh at herself. She was smart as a whip, but tried to never hold that over anyone. Well, unless she was right and they were wrong. Edwards was first diagnosed with cancer at the end of the 2004 presidential campaign. After grueling treatments, doctors declared her cancer-free, but the disease returned in an incurable form three years later. Her last years were tumultuous ones, made difficult by her husband's affair and eventual admission that he fathered a child with his mistress. And the Edwards separated about a year ago. Saturday's service was held at the same church where Elizabeth Edwards more the loss of her teenage son, who died in a car crash in 1996. Following the service, she was buried next to him in a private ceremony. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.